Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Nathan and Alyssa behind the camera, all from Daily Motor. And we are here with our first long-term vehicle, the 2021 Tesla Model Y. We've had this car for about a week now, so we're gonna go out and do our first live drive with it. Talk to all of you about what it's been like to have the car so far. This is actually Nathan's first time being out in it. Not first time in a Tesla, but first time in a Model Y and first time in, in ours specifically. And Alyssa and I are gonna kind of talk about what it's been like to have it for a while, get initial impressions and, and all sorts of things. And we wanna hear from all of you. So hit us up in the comments, in the chat, we'll be watching it and answering any questions, showing you all things you might wanna see. There's a ton to talk about, not only with the driving dynamics, but also that center infotainment screen. Even though it's a very minimalist car, there's a lot going on in it. So it should be a fun one. And if you're watching this after the fact, and you want to join in live next time, hit that subscribe button and keep an eye out for our live drives. We typically try to, try to do them at least once a week. This is a little kind of bonus special one though on a Saturday. Got Nathan down here and uh, we wanted to show you all the Model Y. So we'll do a quick walk around and then we'll go for a little drive and talk about the interior things and then do another walk around later on. I will say, and, and you know, this, is, this is our car and I don't mind being a little harsh on it, the front looks are a little strange especially this white one with no grill. I, I almost think it, it, it just, it, I'm, I don't think it needs something, it's just different. It looks like a face without a mouth. <laughs> like its mouth was sewed shut or something. I think that's where you and I differ a lot with cars because I am totally fine with weird looks. Like I yeah. love the looks of the Pontiac Aztec. I, love, okay. I like things that are weird because they differ from what's on the normal market. Okay. And I absolutely love the way all Teslas look. I, in fact, I like the Model 3 an X more than the Model S and really? X. Really? Yeah. Okay, see, I prefer the S, but I still think it looks cool and it looks good. Yeah. It's just different. And I really like the headlights. I think they look good. In fact, I think I can probably turn them on from our app. Let's see. Controls. I can flash them. There we go. Oh, they don't stay on though. <laughs> I guess I can just start it right here. Uh, you have to put in your password to start huh. the car remotely. Yes. All right, it is on now, but I guess the lights still aren't going to come on. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you, you flash the wheels. I, I actually these like before. these wheels. So these are actually complete covers right here. This is all plastic underneath. I don't want to take them off right now because it's cold. I don't want anything to break, but, and I've never done it yet, but in theory, you can just pull that right off. It's a plastic aero cover. Huh. There is a 20 inch wheel option as well that's just full alloy. So that's a, what's underneath it? Uh, just a nice, good alloy wheel. Oh. Just a normal silver. You can kind of just barely see oh, what yeah. the color is like in there. Um, what do you think? I like them. Yeah. I don't mind. I'm, I'm definitely not one to choose form over function anyway, but I don't, I, for an aero cover, I think this looks fine. Yeah. It's better than the Model 3s, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I do like how ours came with this. Instead of this being chrome, it's black. I wouldn't mind chrome either, but I think the black looks crisp. Do Tesla's have chrome? I yeah. It's all silver. Well, silver then. I think, or yeah. like you know, this is this yeah, is black I get painting. What you mean. Yeah, it looks yeah. looks really good. Yeah. What do you think, Liz? You like the looks, right? I love it. Yeah. You, I, for, you were a little nervous about getting white. I was just because of the front. I agree with you. It looks a little. Um, <laughs> it looks a little. Joker-esque. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it does, I don't know, it's like surgical doctor mask kind of vibe that I'm getting from it. Mm -hmm. But it's striking. People see it, they recognize it because of that. But going back to the black on white, I love black and white together. We had... <laughs> There's an that, Escalade. We had the Escalade that was like that. We had um, that XC30. XC40, yeah, it was also black and white. Yep. Okay, and then there was that Mazda. Oh, the CX-30. CX. Yeah. XC, CX, I yeah. hate that. They need to change those names. I like real names. But I really like those black and the white. It is crisp. It's very crisp. One thing I noticed as soon as you sent me a picture about this one particularly, is mm -hmm. it debadged? No, it comes this way. The standard range one doesn't say standard range. Oh. A dual motor would say dual motor right okay. here. But yeah, the standard range just says nothing. 
Alyssa and I joked earlier, it's nice it doesn't announce that you have the poor version. Yeah. Poor man's, yeah. Poor man's Model well, Y. maybe it does and then it doesn't announce. <laughs> You're right. You kind of have to know though. Yeah. So let's get inside, get behind the wheel, start checking out some of your, your chats. And we'll go from there. So this is the most affordable Model Y you can get. There are no options. We have the base interior, the base model, or the base white exterior color. Start it up here, straighten out the wheel. This is, uh, this is exactly what you get for $43,000 after destination. And you're really not missing too much. I, I, there's been nothing that I'm like, man, I, in fact, once I get into cars that are, um, that are not like this and the other press cars, it almost feels overwhelming. I got in the, uh, Toyota, Ven to yeah, Toyota Venza we had last week. And I felt like it was way too busy inside after driving <laughs> right. this for a few days. Yeah. So, um, yeah. You want you want to see if we got comments yep, going? We do. Um, cool. Yas is here. Hey, Yas. Happy Saturday, friends. And he says, as a Model Three owner, he doesn't think Teslas are particularly good looking, and the Model th or the Mach E looks better. I do think the Mach E looks a little bit better. The Mach E depending looks better on the in a way because Ford intentionally made it look more aggressive and more You're like right. a Mustang. It's a bit more conventional. Yeah, Teslas just want to make their cars aerodynamic. That's probably part of the reason why the Model Y has a better range than the Mach-E. That is true. Um, and then Moran is here. Hey, Moran. He likes the looks and he says it looks like a bubbly Model 3, which is pretty much exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. that makes sense. Yeah, it's just a Model yeah. 3 with a taller body. Someone just, the t Elon Musk just took an air pump in here and just <laughs> pumped it up a bit. <laughs> We're going to pump it up. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, and that's it for now. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, definitely hit us up in the chat. Anything you'd like to know or see, we can go through and demo a little bit of the screen here. So we have this very large infotainment display, very classic Tesla. And what I noticed, and Alyssa and I have talked quite a bit about this, is one of the things that makes this screen better than a lot of other infotainment systems is everything is within two, two touches. It's kind of a, a theory in user interface design that everything should be within the the fewest amount of clicks possible so say for example you want to change a safety setting it's one click here one click there and you're in safety and security you might need to scroll a little bit but this is this is your screen and then say you want to do something to totally different you want to change your audio settings all of a sudden one two and then technically it was one to get into the music screen and then your settings right there um, you don't have uh, where you get a lot of other car manufacturers. You have to like, okay, first you go over to settings and then you go into, okay, is it this setting or that setting? And then it's in there. It's multiple sub menus. So there is a lot of information going on here. And Melissa, you can attest to that. There have yeah. been some things you just be like, man, where is the thing that I need to get to? <laughs> but from an owner's perspective, once you do get used to it, you do get familiar where everything is. It's only, everything's only a few clicks away and that's good. Um... Actually, funny story. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find the hazard lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find the hazard lights, and I needed to do it really quickly. And I was like, okay, it's in the screen somewhere. <laughs> I need to find out where it is. It's right here. Go. I bet you that's some sort of federal mandate that it has to be an actual button. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than something in like yeah. a touch screen, because what if what if your power was out of the car? But then again, maybe your what if at least this screen's power was out, but the rest of the car's power was working or something? Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, make sure we don't have anything going on. I am going to take my coat off. Okay. You have all sorts of different things to screw around with. Let's do. I'm gonna turn the climate down a bit. Show them how the fans work. Please. Oh yeah, this is really neat. If you want to adjust where the air is blowing at you, you just touch this thing around and the fans automatically switch around. So right now I've got it kind of coming straight at me. Alyssa could maybe have hers off to the side, a little bit higher up aiming, and you don't see any of the vents moving around. It's a very crisp look. Yeah. I love how they've made the air look so like angelic and divine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shadow Drone says, hi, Daily Motor. Hello. Um, oh, that's better. What do you think of the new Tesla Model S refresh? Yoke steering wheel and 0 to 60 in 1.99 seconds. 
Um, that is interesting. And Yas said, Nathan, you are spot on. Tesla is all about function. Oh, you're right. I am always spot on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the Model S refresh. I think it looks good. Yeah. It's subtle. The only thing I do agree that I think that steering wheel, unless Tesla has a plan for it to be different than anything we can think of, that steering wheel might get annoying. Well, is is it for all the Model S's or just the Plaid? Plaid? I think plaid. I think it's all the Model S's. I think that's the new interior. Oh boy. Um, and for example, the the Chevy Corvette, the new yeah. one, has that square steering wheel. I don't mind it but it's still not as good as the round steering wheel. Yeah. Cause like when you're steering quickly or something like that, or, or you're just making like a, a turn like this, yeah. it just doesn't work the same. So yeah. I don't know if maybe the yoke steering wheel is going to be adjustable um, steering ratio. So when you're going slow speeds, it's, it turns faster than when you're at slow speed, higher speeds. I don't know. Um, other than that, I love the interior. Yeah. I think it looks awesome. I love how they went with the uh, center screen and the screen in the up there too. Yeah. And a rear screen. <clears throat> yeah. I noticed that. Um, yeah. It looks really crisp, but uh, like with the whole center screen thing, who who knows what Tesla has done with the steering wheel? It could exactly it could be something we don't even realize. Yeah. So Yash just pointed out something that I didn't actually know. Yeah. You can split the airflow. I love that. <laughs> Do you the see that Red in? Sea. Yeah. That's so oh, cool. That's wow. Cool. Thank you, Yash. See, that's why I love doing these live drives. We, pe people yeah. teach us stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want that, but maybe if like I, if you don't want it on your face, but you just want it like kind of coming on your yeah. body. I never want air on my face. I always I don't like that. I want it on like my feet or my arms or something, but not on my face. So wow. that's perfect. Neat. Cool. It's for all the new interior is all Model S and X. Oh, so the X is getting that yoke steering wheel as well. Uh, David Kimbell, how is the range during winter months with the standard range, or how much range are you getting so far? Well. We've done a few videos on this. We did our highway range trip, and that was kind of worst case situation. We were averaging 70 miles per hour. The climate control was set at a very warm 73 degrees auto, and it was only about 25 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And we got about 170, 180. We're not exactly sure how large our battery is, because <laughs> Tesla hasn't explicitly said that. If it's a 60 kilowatt hour battery, at about 180 miles of range at that in that situation. If it's only a 50 kilowatt hour battery, which some people are thinking it's only like 155 miles. But other than that, we've actually done a pretty good job at staying near Tesla's estimated range. So if we bring up our energy screen here, this is over the last 30 miles. And Alyssa and I were driving quite aggressively earlier for a video. And we've been running the heat a bunch lately, just mm -hmm. kind of sitting here idling, filming. And we're getting 286 watt, hour, uh, watt hours per mile. Now the EPA kind of combined rating is down here at about 230. And right here or so is about where I was last driving the car. Like everything forward was filming, everything back was just casual driving. And I was right around that average. So even here in the cold weather, I had my temp set to about 66, 67 auto, a little bit of seat heat, steering wheel heat. And we were getting that prescribed range, which should give us about 240 miles in, in mixed driving. So, and this was with highway and everything. So really hasn't been bad so far. Yeah. Cool. You guys can feel free to inter interrupt me if there's anything you, you think of. Uh, da -da -da -da. The Tesla graphics remind me of higher end game graphics. Very functional and appealing to look at. I agree. Yeah. I think this screen is, is absolutely one of the best. It reminds Let's me of see. an Android phone, which yes. I like. Yeah, everything very responsive, clicks well. I mean, yeah, just look at uh, Alyssa moving her fingers around the screen. Well, not like that, but just the interface and how mm. everything looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so much you can do. <laughs> I'm kind of messing it up. Yeah, that's fine. Another neat thing is uh, driver modes. So. When I'm in the car, I have it set on, on my profile, and not only does it have my seat and mirror setups, but it also has things like my climate control, my radio favorites. I have it set so it shows me battery percentage, but then when Alyssa gets in the car, she just switches it to her mode, and it changes her seat settings, and it also switches this to miles left rather than percentage, because wow. Alyssa is a little less of a nerd than I am, and <laughs> she cares more about the functional aspect, like 
how much further can I drive rather than like, okay, what's the very precise yeah. percentage going down and everything like right. that. I kind of know that looking at this, I kind of know how much I have to go and I'm, I'm studying it a little more analytically. Alyssa is a little bit more like, all right, I just need to go do my errands, go to the appointment, whatever, and, and get home. So mm -hmm. that's all that really matters. So you can have all of that switch just like that. Press the little Tesla icon up there. Um, do you have all the little funny things on mm -hmm. there? That to do that, um, I think you have to... I know there's Toy Box, but is the... Um... <clears throat> You're right, there is another screen, isn't there, for... Uh... That's it. Well, no, that... You I were talking know. about Toy Box? Yeah. Okay. Oh. What is this? It's all sorts of... You haven't really played around with the toy box yet? I don't even... I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> so this is where you can do all sorts of silly things, like um, make it so every time you turn hit the turn signal... You can even, <laughs> even choose which kind of fart you want. You know, there's, there's the short shorts ripper, there's ludicrous fart. Was... Yeah, so Ooh. you can do that. And if you just have I'm so random, it just does a different one every time. <laughs> so you can have it be on your turn signal or just any time you press the left scroll wheel. You can do... Um, Tracks, which is an actual music like beat maker. So oh if you're sitting gosh. here supercharging or something, you can make songs. And it's actually kind of neat to, to use. I was messing around with it the other day. We've got romance mode. Oh, not with me in here. <laughs> which cranks the heat, <laughs> puts on a little fire. And after a minute, it will start playing uh, um, some nice music. I can't remember. If I have to There we go. <laughs> so we've got we've got full heat coming on. Oh, we can't play. Uh, I forgot we can't play copyrighted music for any length of time, or else we'll get demonetized. Oh. So that's that. Uh, Moran said, "I like how in the morning you just get in and you have instant heat." That's, that's so, so awesome. true. You can. Yeah. yeah, I noticed that earlier. I went out and got in it, and everything was warm already. Like I didn't, I didn't tell it to do that. I yeah. just went up to it. And it's awesome. So you can either precondition to have everything heated up already ready to go before you even get in there, battery included. But even if you don't do that, everything like the seats, the climate, and the wheel get hot really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like you barely need to do that. Classic sketch pad. You can draw anything in here. I think I have it set in the comments. If someone donates to us, uh, we will draw something in the, com in the um, um, on the screen. <clears throat> I can't remember what I put. I, I'd like to interrupt real fast because someone mm -hmm. has had a brilliant idea. Okay. Derek Chong says, play the YouTube live stream on YouTube in the car. Oh, man. That oh, would be <laughs> we can look at the comments right there. Mm -hmm. Wow, I can't believe we did not think of that. The only problem is then we can't show off the other things. But oh, when, when we get driving, yeah. we'll do that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Good idea, man. Really good idea. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I have wondered is how do you save these? Because, like, say I wanted to save that, and then if publish. I hit publish, it says, are you sure you want Tesla to critique your artistic masterpiece? Yes, I am an artist. Like, does this, it's not going to, is it going to get sent somewhere? Well, it's probably, the car is probably just going to look it over. All right, well, let's see. What car? What does that mean? Uh, I'm going to erase all this. Oh, my gosh. Go oh, wait. Wait, oh, clear. That's easier. And then I'm going to do hi... Elon. Publish, yes. <laughs> okay. But then, like, is there any way to get back to my previous? Because I've I've done sketches on here before and they're gone. So, like, if I if I open the sketch pad back up, that one's still there. So I don't know. Uh, I'm sure someone, I'm sure Moran or someone can tell us as well. Uh, you guys haven't been even gotten a big holiday UI update. I know, we, for some reason we, um, we haven't. 
And Yas did point out you can't play YouTube while driving. Only stop. Oh. But you, oh. Uh, I am curious, and they probably know, but what happens when you try to um, open YouTube from the browser? Maybe it just says your browser's not supported or something. Hmm. I bet you I could, if we really wanted to get around it, I could do some sort of like remote desktop into my PC. Oh, geez. I'm not gonna do it today, but I'm sure it's possible. Um, what else do we have in the toy box? Mars, what's Mars? When you click Mars, then it turns your GPS. <gasps> no. Into Jupiter. <laughs> no. So then if you drive around, it looks like you're driving on the surface of Mars. You can zoom in a little bit. Oops. Oh my gosh, that's weird. Drop the rocks. The Mars rocks or the Earth rocks? <laughs> the Earth's rocks. <laughs> yeah, so that's just kind of silly, but you know, Daddy Elon does plan to take us all to, to, <laughs> to Mars. Um, let's get that back off. Toy box, Mars. What's Santa? Oh, you ask what Santa is, huh? Oh wait, I don't want to get demonetized. Hush, 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 stop. Oh, great. No? <laughs> oh, I want to stop. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's what Santa Mod does. Pausing media. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube problems. Oh, jeez. Um, and then we also have Rainbow Road, which I also can't enable because that will play something copyrighted as well. But like a Mario Kart level? Kind of. It Rainbow makes it look like Mario Kart as you're driving along and on here That's awesome. on the autopilot screen and it plays the um, silly Saturday Night Live sketch uh, with Will Ferrell, the more cowbell. Seriously? It plays that? Yeah, Don't Fear the Reaper and everything. I love. That's my favorite SNL skit. Well, then we'll have to try it sometime oh, when we're not on live stream. I need to know more about this car. Yeah, you gotta play with it more. Yeah, I kind of just have left that up to you. <laughs> Um, so let's, I'm just curious, find out here live. If any of you are just joining in, we are out here live with our 2020, 2020, 2020, 2021 <laughs> Tesla Model Y standard range. And we're going to go out for a drive here in a second, but we're just kind of playing around with the infotainment and seeing what anyone wants to see. But any questions you might have or things you want to know or talk about, hit us up. We will chat them youtube.com oh it just launches the youtube app interesting so what if okay let's try something what if we're driving and the browser's open so this is what we like about the live drives is we can just try things apparently we're just going to get an infinite loading screen well, tell everybody what you're doing, because you might not have known. I'm trying to see if we can launch YouTube from the browser. I, d I doubt it. That would be a pretty stupid and obvious workaround. <laughs> um, it's probably just going to say your browser's not supported, but now apparently we seem to have frozen out the browser. <laughs> okay, stop and see if it loads. This might be a thing where it's not going to load because we're driving. I think it's just really confused. Sad. Interesting. So the the setting is, and it's probably not something you can change, that you're not able to open YouTube while you're driving. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, let's just go for a little drive here. I'll drive around a little bit, and then we'll let Nathan and Alyssa drive as well. I'm just going to go this way. It's less dirty. So the Model Y isn't... It's not like a revolutionary car. But any Tesla is very different from not only just any car, any other car in the market, but even most other EVs. We've driven, mm, I think, I think I've driven every mainstream electric vehicle except for, I don't know if the Mercedes 3QC is even on the market yet here in America. Mm. And I haven't driven a, a Mach-E, but I will be driving one tomorrow. So anything you guys want to know on that, let me know. Um, but it's not only the powertrain and the steering and everything and the driving dynamics but also just the way that everything around you the greenhouse is so open and all of your information is just right here it's it's a unique driving experience that hasn't gotten old for me even before getting this model y i've done road trips and model threes i've driven the model s before i 
I remember the very first time I ever drove a Model S. It was a P85D, and it was just like, wow. It was, <laughs> that was my favorite car for a while to drive that car. So, yeah, it's, nice. it's just different. Hey, Nathan. Yep. Why don't you give Charlie a call? Are you going to demonstrate how it yeah. works here? I think you're the priority phone. Is it mine? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Try calling me. <laughs> I don't think you actually have my phone number. right there is Alyssa has uh, a nice emoji next to my name so <laughs> that's what it's trying yes. to show but yeah it's just a nice little thing you answer it or not right hopefully doing that didn't drop out any of our signal or anything I don't think it we should be happen. okay for right now yeah. all right so <clears throat> is the ride up there mm -hmm. as bad as it is back there that's what I want to know because <laughs> well, We'll have to train. Well, have you to, and I I'll will have to change yeah. seats. Well, I'll just figure out when I drive it. Right. Yeah. Because it is terrible back here. Yeah. Really bumping along. And I would go as far to say it's probably the worst riding car I've ever been in so far. At least Ooh. in the back seat. I don't know about the front yet. There, a big part of that is these tires run at a high pressure. We're at 44 psi all around right now because they've warmed up a bit. It's 42 and it's cold, and you feel every little bump come through the road with that. Um, it, the car does a decent job, at least up here, of, of um, more large bump absorption. But Nathan's a lot closer to the rear axle, so maybe that's what I want to know. Go by the famous uh, Daily Motor Big Bump. Okay. And s I want to see how terrible it is. Okay. I've already hurt my back once today. Let's see if it'll <laughs> if it'll hurt your back again. You also mentioned the seats back there are pretty firm, right? Yes, they're, everything back here is just hard. Hmm. Ha. Interesting. Good to know. <laughs> Jeez, Charlie. Well, <laughs> he's being informative. Hey, remember Andre Motors? I do. Yeah. It's been a minute. Hey, man. Good to see him. He Our says, hero. hi, do you remember me? Of course, of course. man. Yeah. That's cute. He was from, was he the one from Romania or Germany? I think he's from Germany. No, no, no. No. No? No. What's that other one? Doesn't it start with E? Some Russian... Oh, is it, it's not Albania, is it? I don't think so. No, I mean, somebody's from Albania. Somebody? I don't think he is. <gasps> Where are you from? I thought, I thought <laughs> Andre's the one with the golf or something. No, no, no. That's Audi. Audi driver. Okay. All right, Nathan, were you talking about these bumps in general or specifically uh, that big one up there? big one up there, yeah. Oh, jeez. That's really bad back here. Interesting. Yeah, yeah I would like to see. Here. Yeah. This one. We'll all switch it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yas asks, uh, does it have dual pane front windows? Oh, maybe I should wait. Yeah, we'll go over this bump and then we'll yeah, check the... Yeah, this big bump right here. So yeah. I usually do this bump about 45 miles per hour in most, car, most cars to get an idea of... <laughs> so it wasn't that harsh because that bump's not really a harsh bump. It's more of a kind of like a right. But yeah, that was not that good. And yeah, like I said, it, it takes it's the little bumps that you feel everything. The yeah. big bumps it, it absorbs decently well. Uh, yes, dual pane windows. Okay. Yep. Um, uh, he says I know they started adding that to the new Model Y, but wasn't sure if it was available on the SR. Yep. That's actually really impressive. Yeah. It, this car has some like super luxury features and then other ones that are kind of like feel like they're missing, like no ventilated seats, um, mm -hmm. no cornering headlamps. Um, those are kind of the first two that come to mind. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Legends is asking if we prefer the black or the white interior. And we actually really like the black interior. Yeah, I like both. I think the, the white interior looks really crisp and sharp, but I don't think I'd want to own it for a long time. I don't think it would age as well 
think if you wore jeans a lot, which I typically do, there's a good chance of it kind of fading to blue. Yeah, <laughs> on the it. jeans rubbing off on it. And not only that, but it, it would be very reflective as well. I mean, you have a lot of sunlight in this cabin, and so if you, if you have that in there as well, it's going to um, it's just gonna be bright in here. And I think yeah. this, the black looks a little crisper. Yeah. So I like the white. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> also, with the white, you don't get nice wood grain here. Is it, what is this uh, in the white instead? Is it it's black? Just a, it's just a strip of like white plastic. Oh. Yeah. So it looks cool. It's just not, yeah, it's a little different. So. Uzbekistan. Oh. Oh. Okay. I knew it started with an with an Oh, U. yeah, you're right. <laughs> an U. <laughs> an, a U. Um, any other <clears throat> chats to answer before we do another walk around? Nathan's Snapchatting back there. You're supposed to be comment moderator, man. <laughs> All right, comments. Uh, is, I'm probably butchering this, but Zemes Zeskmo. Oh yeah, Zeskimo. 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 With Charlie, do you remember him? Yeah, I was just gonna yeah. say I remember him. It's a pretty memorable name. Yeah. Eskimo, but with some zest. A zesty Eskimo. <laughs> Sheridan asks what the sound quality is like. It's very good. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Maybe we'll do a little listening of my um, uncompressed or my. On <coughs> my loyalty free tracks. Um, cool. A little bit. The ones that are not copyrighted. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, Yas says Nathan, the back seats are firmer too, but I agree. Model three and Y suspensions lack sophistication. They're kind of harsh. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, they they have to cut s costs somewhere in this car, and so you know, suspension. It's a heavy car. It takes <clears throat> a lot to dampen something like this. Right. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's. We'll do a walk around. We'll also check out the frunk and trunk, and then we'll let Nathan behind. The frunk and trunk. <laughs> All right. So, if any of you are joining in recently, this is our recently purchased 2021 Model Y Standard Range. Doing a little live drive here, talking with all of you. Any questions you might have? I'll actually go around and do the trunk first. I'm really happy with the cargo space in this car. I, I think I, for personal driving, I'd rather have a Model 3, but you cannot argue the usability of the Model Y in terms of the cargo area. So Nathan is about five foot 10. He's sitting quite comfortably cross-legged back there. Not that your head would fit, but if you were at like a sporting event or something, you could sit here. Tailgate. Watching a, a polo match. Honestly, <laughs> this is absolutely perfect. You got protection from the sun mm -hmm. and Actually, if you put the seat down like I have right there, it gives you back support too. Nice. I'm sitting here totally comfy. Nice. And then with that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you had to have seen that come. No, I didn't. <laughs> well, while you're there, you can show how nice it is to lay back. And I know from shooting my intro video, as a five foot ten person, you can completely fit. I can't. Yeah. Yep. And it's almost an entirely flat load surface. Tell me, like, what <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> and if you want to come on out, you have pretty much the most useful rear cargo compartment I've experienced. So this is entirely flat up to the rear seats. And then you've got these deep storage wells, which go way down on either side. You see, I've got my entire camera bag tucked in there. This is the Tesla charging bag. Got out of the way. And then in this underfloor compartment, whoops, there you go. You can sort of set it up like that. And Alyssa and I went shopping the other day. We fit five bags of groceries in there, completely full, no problem. And then we're able to close that and put more stuff up on top, no big deal. And then underneath that one, you also have, that's it's kind hard of hard. to actually get. There you, go. there you go. This is kind of for more permanent storage if you want to have a blanket or actually, yeah, why wouldn't we just put that in there? <laughs> There you go. Smart thinking. Um, yeah, it's just a, a super useful area. And I had a fat tire mountain bike back there the other, twice now. Fits in very easily. I do end up popping the, the front tire off just because it's so much easier to do. But if it's in there lengthwise, no problem. Oh, your, your, well, your jacket's caught. Okay. There you go. <laughs> That's still really heavy. It is heavy. It's one of the heavier ones, yes. Yep. And we'll go to the frunk. It would appear that you can not fully fit, but if for some reason you needed to sit in there, you could. It's actually kind of comfy. <laughs> if you're in, in all seriousness, if you wanted to be at a sporting event, 
sit in the fr the front of your Model Y? It's, it's like being in an inner so tube. <laughs> Seriously, like. <laughs> nice. So demonstrate a decent amount of room. Yeah. Not quite as deep as my Boxster trunk, but I have my but drink it's still here. useful. My drink right here. <laughs> it's perfect. You can have your drink. That, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> And then you got your little tow hook eye and everything. Neat. All right, so we were mentioning earlier, I do think ours, and maybe Yas can attest to this, I don't think this closes properly. You have to do kind of the initial click and then more. put a good amount of force in there to close it in. I noticed when looking at it from this angle, if you backed up and looked at it head on, uh -huh. it looked crooked. Like really? when it was in its up position. Okay, yeah. So it's possible that's not perfectly fit on there. All right, Nathan, you want to get behind the wheel? Yep. Do you want me in the back seat? Oh, I can be in the back. So to start off, let's get a profile made for you. Yep. And Nathan's going to add his name and everything. Oh, boy. Um, mirrors. Oh, I'll get this thing. Do, 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 do. Is it a custom order or dealer inventory car? Moran, we custom ordered this the day that the standard range came available. So they built it and sent it right out to us. <laughs> Model YSR. You know, if an adjustable suspension will be coming for the Model 3 or Y, I do not, and I kind of doubt it. I just don't see them putting resources toward that. Um, <laughs> could you fit a spare into the back well? Probably not. Maybe if someone made a compact spare, but I think it would be too tall. Spare tire. That is a good point. This car doesn't have a spare. It doesn't, does it? Yep. All right. Wow, we have 58 people watching, guys. Oh, easy my entry. gosh. Um, All right, turn on All right. What did you just... Why does it say easy entry for that profile? Um, You know when you get in and out, it moves everything, it backs it up? Oh, oh! so I bet when you press the brake, it would go to your settings, but, yeah. okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, says the front is, the front is a little difficult to latch. Okay. Yeah, right. so maybe that's just how, how it is. Yeah. So Nathan's going to have to get used to the regenerative braking, which is not on full right now because our battery is still not warmed all the way up. For those of you who don't have Teslas in warm climate, climates, the regenerative braking, if you're not, uh, if the battery's not warmed up, will not fully do itself. This is temporarily reduced. And it takes a long time to get that up to full. It's been a minute since I turned in uh, Tesla. Do, do, do. Aw, thanks, Eskimo. I appreciate that. <laughs> Range has been good so far. We were talking about it a little earlier, but. Uh, We've been able, with just moderate driving, not not having the heat real high up or driving like a hooligan, the EPA estimated range is very attainable. In fact, I was just driving, running some errands, coming back from the store yesterday, and I was right on 230 miles per kilowatt hour, which would put us at 240 miles of range. I'm happy with the sound system. I will do a more in-depth review on it in a few weeks. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is the sound's a little forward facing. So it kind of it makes, e even in the um, immersive sound mode, it kind of makes everything sound like it's coming from the front. But overall, I, I am happy with it. Yeah, it's, if I, initial impressions would be kind of like an eight and a half out of 10, eight and a half to nine out of 10. Well, that guy's literally falling over. Oh, it's a Jaguar. <laughs> so of course it's broken. And since they stole something, um, they have to, you know, it's probably a lot of things moving around in the car. There's no handle up here. That is one of my little petty complaints. There's no handle right there. On long highway road trips, I like to have my hand up on that handle. Now, first thing I know is, and I love about Tesla so much, the steering responsiveness. Yes. It handles so good. And you have multiple steering modes. I don't know what steering mode you're in right now. Probably comfort. But there's also standard and sport, too. Will the center console be updated? I do think they have an, a center console update for the Model Y coming, but ours is gonna be stuck with the original. Man, that pull is good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna have to tell me about the ride back there. 
Well, I'm sitting in the center seats. I don't know if that's going to be much different, but I, I don't really, I really don't know what you're getting on about. <laughs> All right, well, I'll take you back. Um, I'll just go this way. Again. No, no, it's the big bumps are straight ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. What do you think about the ride quality in the in the driver's seat, Nathan? Um, it's a lot better. I do see what you mean a little bit. It's, it's um. You notice more bumps back here, and when you do go over those big ones, you you get jolted up a little bit more. I'm, I'm just so much closer to the rear axle. Um, let's see this big one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it, the ride is worse back here. Yeah. It's just it's like a standard car. This is not like luxury compact crossover no. ride quality. It's it's standard compact crossover ride quality. I am looking. Blaine, we do have the heated steering wheel. Yep, that came on ours. <laughs> Highway MPG E was about 109 MPG E is what we calculated. Based on then, but that was a hard trip. That was with the heat set at 73 and doing 70 miles per hour. If you had your heat lower, it would it would definitely be lower. And we're gonna we're gonna be trying that. <laughs> um, the zero to 60 time is 5.3 seconds, right? Or That's like, what Tesla claims. Yeah, yes. Tesla claims. Um, it feels slower than that. Okay. You were at full zero though. What? You, were you at? No, I wasn't, but just in terms of like just power, I was expecting more like a. Well, more you have to remember back. electric vehicles get their advantage down below like 30 miles per hour. But so even so, with the, like when I, the Model 3 I drove, that was like. Oh, yeah, that was a dual motor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Not, oh, that's a good. David, I absolutely think this car as a as a if you don't have a lot of traveling to do, if you don't do a ton of driving, and you have your seatbelt on. No, put your seatbelt on. I'm driving like a hooligan. Uh, tell me not to drive like a hooligan. You tell that one back there. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, you don't have to wear a seatbelt in Michigan. In the back seat. In the back, in the back, back seat, seat. If you're over 16, but. I still highly advise wearing your seatbelt, and if I'm the driver, everyone wears their seatbelt. That's my rule. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yes, so far, preliminarily, we would say the Model Y SR would be a bit tough to have as your only vehicle, but for two-car households or someone who lives in a city area, I don't think it'd be any problem. You just have to be a little bit more intentional. No problems on delivery? Well, I take that back. We had one small little scratch on our center console and they replaced that within the first week. We didn't even see it. We went to go pick it up at night, silly enough, but we, had, we got the call late in the evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we even went and looked at the car, one of the uh, delivery guys said, there's a little scratch on the console. I already made a note of that, and someone's gonna come out and, and fix it. Yeah, so, it's amazing customer service. Yeah, yes. it took 45 minutes. The guy came right to our house, did it in our driveway, yeah. and we were good to go. Could you imagine Ford being like, <laughs> you know, there's sorry, a, we're gonna. There's a tiny little scratch. We're gonna replay. No, don't. No problem. Right. right. Yeah, and coming to your house, the that technician nice. came to the house like auto glass repair. Right. I love that. It's yep. awesome. All free, obviously. Yeah. One um, thing I know is the steering wheel is very small. I feel like, I feel like a cartoon almost with my hands. So it is a small in. steering wheel. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, take a left. I noticed that as well. Or right, right here. Okay. Uh, did you do? I don't know about changing the MCU to make the map bigger. I, I think we are waiting on an update as well to make our map bigger. Um, how long does it take to recharge from zero to full on a full charge? Well, I don't know how you, <laughs> like if you'd ever really have your car at 0% at, at your house, but if you're on a level one charger, like just 120 volt, it'd probably take in this model 30, 36 to 48 hours um, around there. Yeah. And if, but if you had a level two charger, which we plan on getting, and most people who own a full battery electric vehicle would have, it would take like six hours, six to eight hours. Yeah. Right. Yep. So what I'd like to do okay. is a regenerative braking test and a zero to 60 test. Okay. Keep in mind, well, your battery regen is actually pretty much full at this point. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're measuring like you're fully off the gas right now. Yeah. It's slowing Just all the way down. Testing what it's like. This would be like if you came up to a stop, stop light or yeah. something. All right. Yeah. No. I'm gonna nail it. Yep. Oh, you're in chill acceleration. Oh, whoops. <laughs> now to do that, you go down to the bottom left car, 
and then driving, and then acceleration to standard. Steering mode sport. Okay. Let's see what that's that. Overdrive braking. All right. That'll probably make a big difference. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's what I was. Oh. Does that feel more like you were yes, expecting? Yes, that's a lot more like I was. <laughs> oh I my god! Yeah. I didn't realize you were in chill mode that whole time. That's the, Nathan's like, oh, this feels kind of slow. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all just got the uh, the raw okay. left, the raw uh, experience that standard acceleration. You don't have to stop. Uh, standard acceleration mode makes a big difference. <laughs> it makes the whole car feel oh, a lot goodness. heavier. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the Tesla I'm used to. Oh ah! my god. <laughs> I realize it's a lot harder to film when Nathan's on standard mode. <laughs> Yes. The thing is, we're all laughing. It's it really it's, it's awesome not, yeah. that just literally Probably. the most. If you want to. Yeah. yeah, hop on toward yeah toward an hour. This is the least expensive Model Y. I mean, this is a family car at the end of the day, and yet it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it just puts such a smile on your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that instant torque is is pretty unique. Wow, look at that hawk right there. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Has the heat and AC been acceptable in the back seat? Um, so far, yeah. We haven't really had many people sit in the back seat, but you do have um, little vents back here, which is very nice. <laughs> oh my god! And so uh, as well as two USB Type C ports. Well, all three of those seats are heated as well. Yeah. Yep. And my my seats are heated. I don't really mind this middle seat, Nathan. I mean, I get what you mean. It's a lot less comfortable than the side seats, but it's not that bad. It's like sitting on a dirt bike. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't like safe driving. This is like, you just stay in the right lane. This is like neck pulling acceleration. And even at higher speeds too. Yeah, it, it really limo. pulls. Oh my goodness, that's an Escalade limo right there. <laughs> uh, blah, 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 blah. Nice, I live in, in North Carolina, but it would be nice to have, I agree. Um, did you get autopilot? Zeskimo, um, they all come with autopilot, but we did not get the full self-driving. So Tell them how much that is. The full self-driving suite cost $10,000 at this time, and we really didn't deem that necessary. But uh, I will say, I, I've, I've done road trips in Model 3s with the full self-driving, and it is a more inclusive experience. This autopilot, base autopilot, is pretty much just an advanced uh, lane keeping assist. It works really well, but it won't, you, you have to turn it off just to change lanes and things like that. But full self-driving is pretty neat. It's just not $10,000 neat. Um, As of right now, we still plan on getting it at some point. <laughs> so, somebody said, got him, that Tesla smile. <laughs> Hunter Ellis said, uh, <laughs> just here for the Escalade. <laughs> I made her hit her head this. <laughs> it's just so much fun. Yeah. It's pretty neat. And you also, did you notice much of a difference between sports steering and, and comfort steering? Because I don't notice a huge it difference. It heavier. That's it does all. get a little heavier. It does? Yeah. Oh, I'd imagine that it would get lighter. Um... Any other observations at this point, Nathan? From um, it's just awesome. I love the way Teslas drive. They just do everything so good. Mm -hmm. like, I agree. And for this price, like the last Tesla I drove was like fifty-five thousand dollars, I think, something yeah. like that. Yep. Um, and that was amazing. This, it's not as good as that because it's not, not as expensive and not as fast, but. It's... But from a, and and I agree with you, but. From a daily like driving experience, do you think that matters, or do you think this no, is it doesn't funny? matter at all? This Cause... is plenty. Of, how many <laughs> how many daily drivers go zero to sixty in five point three seconds? Right. Yeah, and not only that, but like your daily driver does that in less uh, zero to sixty in less That's than that. Four point seven. But you also have to pay a bunch of money for gasoline. Yeah. Um, and you don't you know you just don't have the other advantages and stuff. So. And even with your car, I bet you can't yank people's heads back like that with that immediate no, throttle. I can't. <laughs> I think we're going to have to switch drivers soon. Hey, Blaine, thank you for the donation. Oh, wow. Blaine, give Nathan, uh, Nathan, give Blaine a little horn, horn beep there. Thank you. That's the first time I've heard the horn. 
Uh, some, uh, and also you can customize the horn sounds, which I have not played with yet, but you can totally do it. Making that part sound. Um, <laughs> can you get anything other than that gloss black inside? You can get the white interior, which still has the gloss black down there, but has white elsewhere. Um, what did I say? I gotta check the description. What did I say for people if they donated five bucks? I feel like I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, I told people for five dollars we'd paint a picture for them on the touchscreen. Liz, oh. would you like to do that? Yeah, what should I do? Um, I don't know. Open it up and see see what comes to your mind. Blaine, if you'd like anything in particular in the uh, in your in your picture painted, just let us know. You don't have to shut off autopilot to switch lanes. Just put directional on. <laughs> just put directional on. It goes you can off. You stays can in the speed. You set switch lanes and double click that. back on. Yes, Brian, but what I mean is the autopilot still disables itself when you're changing lanes. So, you, you, like, you see what I mean? It, it, you still have to, you get the double beep that it turned off, and then you have to get the, you have to double tap the thing, and then get the beeping sound again to turn it back on. Whereas with full self-driving, you could just tap it, it would do it all itself. How is range in zero degree Fahrenheit temperatures? Um, I don't know about that low, but I can't imagine it would be that much worse than what we've been getting. Hey, Eric Levos, big donation. Oh, wow. Thanks, Eric. We appreciate nice. that. That is so kind and thoughtful. Um, what How did much I put did he donate? He donated $20. Oh, wow. Um, I said we would do some snow driving for $10. So, um, should we go back to the little? Yeah, let's, let's pull over, uh, maybe take a right and pull over somewhere, and then let Alyssa drive for a little bit, and then we'll do some, and then I'll get back and let, uh, do, do some snow driving. Trip. See how it handles oh part. god, please don't do it too much. Oh, it's so flat. It's steering. I can't get Aaron. these tires to squeal. I know. Like, good. Like, what is it about these tires? We own this car now. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, you're gonna break it. Gonna it's like it. a, it's like a big um, uh, go golf cart. Yeah. Right uh, sure. Go ahead and put the hazards on. There you go. And oh, yeah, uh, it's easy entry thing now. Ah, I see. Okay, Liz. How do you control the windshield wipers? Well, they are auto wipers, but you can tap the t turn signal stock on the left side and do the wipers manually or hold it for spray. So all Alyssa has to do is tap her little profile there and you can see her seat changing, the wheel changing, the outside mirrors are changing. This also, is the only thing that doesn't change. Right. Liz, can you zoom in real quick on your mileage indicator and show how it changed to mileage rather than percentage? That's just the way Alyssa prefers it, I think. I guess I set that for you. I, I did not change that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how much just silly amounts of legroom are back here. I've got no center hump. Uh, this seat is all the way back. I've got room. Alyssa's seat is way up, so you could fit a football field back here. And... Um, I oh, even wow. had, we even had a six foot three individual sit back here and he had headroom and legroom with the seat all the way back. So it was impressive. <laughs> thank you, Yas. I'm, thank you for agreeing with me. Zeskimo says, yay, Alyssa driving. Are you able to control the wipers with voice commands? That's a good oh, question. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead You're and do good. your thing. I was going to turn that off. Nathan's drawing a picture for Blaine. Wait, should I go straight through here? Yeah, you can go straight all the way up to the stop sign, turn right, and then take a right again on Tyler. Okay. And we'll go to that same snow section you and I went earlier today. Got it. By the big parking lot. Um, Liz, you want to try doing a winch? I doubt this will work, but let's try it. Try uh, controlling windshield wipers with the voice commands. So you tap the right steering wheel button. This? Nope, the button. This? Yep. Turn on the windshield wipers. Oh my gosh, that does that work. That is awesome. Now do it again to turn yeah, off. <laughs> nice. Turn off windshield Let's wipers. See cool. That's pretty neat. Right. This is too bumpy. There's an undo button up at the top. It's an ab workout to lean forward here in the back seat with the camera. Uh -oh, I, I really messed that up. <laughs> what is it again? Oh. You That's 
Look at your sweatshirt. Is that Blaine's picture? This says Blaine. Then get the M. Okay. Look at your shirt. Charlie, where you're sitting at? Mm -hmm. Am I block completely the blocking? Higher rear the window back there. There you go, Blaine. Blaine, that is your your picture that we promised you. Very nice. And we're gonna send this to <laughs> Elon Musk, saying, "Yes, I am an artist." We have to draw Eric a picture too. Eric, okay, clear. Eric Levos. It's my steering, my seatbelt got locked up because I leaned all the way forward. <laughs> anyway, Alyssa was pointing out this rear window is not huge. So when you're viewing it through the not very large rear view mirror, it's just, uh, you know, it's functional, but it's not Lumber as big as a lot of other vehicles. There's an a adult man sitting in the middle seat with a very large head and blocks <laughs> So Probably if you had five adults in here, it would be tough. Uh -oh. I tried to, it was a chunk of ice. Blaine said, thank you much for the picture, Nathan. <laughs> thank you much. I'm trying to draw Eric's Mazda. Ah. Oh. Pretty oh. decent. That's how Michigan repairs its roads. Instead of actually fixing it, they just do a sign that says, hey, there's a bum here. Yes. <laughs> and the sign is just held there by a bunch of sandbags. <laughs> bum. Here's, yeah, here's your right turn. Let's... Oh, you want me to turn here? Yep. Hey, donation from Sheridan as well. Oh, so, wow. So, Nathan, after... <laughs> right here? Yeah, up in there. You go all the way down and through. This. No, go straight. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, after you do Eric's photo, Nathan, you can do Sheridan's. People just want me to do art stuff. Yeah, well, hey, I, if, if they want to give us money to draw them paintings on our Tesla, then we'll do that one. <laughs> they Mazda's should have, have a, like a line break light right there. They should have like a fill option as well. Ah, yes. They might. Now, do you want me to drive through this snowy bit out here, or do you want to do that? Uh, well, just take, yeah, pull in there and maybe find a good place to stop. It'll help Nathan with drawing, and then uh, we'll do a walk around, and then I'll, I'll drive around a little bit. Oh, well, you do your walk around. I can draw Sheridan's photo. AJ, yes. If you press the little circle button, then the rear view camera will appear, and you can do that at any speeds. Oh, uh, Zeskimo. Well, we appreciate your um, your wanting to donate. If you do want to donate via the Cash app, you can do cash tag Daily Motor, all one word, no space. And we actually get double Cash app donations than YouTube donations. So. Anything you donate in a cash app will be counted as double. But hey, if that doesn't work, then we appreciate your sentiment and appreciate you having you in the chat. Cute. Any phantom braking experience in autopilot? Hunter, yes. It actually wasn't even an autopilot. I was just uh, in, just had the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control set doing our range tests the other day. And I was doing 72 miles per hour and the car just all of a sudden started slowing down aggressively. <laughs> And I had to, uh, I had to undo that. So that was frustrating. All right, Eric, Eric Levos. You got your Mazda. I got the gray wheels. I got the That's pretty cute. curves. Signed by Daily Motor. Nice. <clears throat> okay, now, now one for Sheridan. And in that time, um, I will swap with Alyssa. All right. Charlie, what's the first car you ever drove? Well, I used to drive with my parents a lot and kind of sit on the front seat with my dad and like par parking lots and things like that. First car I probably have recollection of driving was probably like a... Nathan, do you remember the year of Dad's Audi? Audi A4. Yeah, it was an Audi A4. Do you remember the year? It was like an 02 03. maybe? 2003 Audi A4 manual with a 3.0 liter V6. That was a nice car. It was a nice car. And yep. the tan interior. Uh, Blaine had a 17 Ford Focus RS, heavily modified, and it couldn't compete with a Model 3. And I couldn't compare it with a Model 3 Performance. I drove it and was converted, ordering a Model Y long range in the summer. Congrats, Blaine. And that's interesting because I love the Ford Focus RS. That car, the Focus RS has made me want to do dangerous things more than just about any other car other than maybe a Ford Raptor. Ford Performance cars do a really good job of just making you want to be bad. I can attest to that, driving an SHO. You want to say fuel, fuel, but you it just doesn't let you. Yeah. It just always just encourages always you to do... just nail the throttle. Yeah, and just irresponsible <laughs> things. Uh, Hydro plays. Yo, what's up? 
How far do the front seats lay back? That is a good question. Oh. Let's can let's can experiment 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 with that. How low can it go? This low. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Is it pretty comfortable? So if you were taking a nap while you were while you were uh, charging up. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty good. Actually, it was. I was wondering if it's gonna go any further. My arm's not gonna reach the button. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, AJ missed first 50 minutes. Sorry, bud. Um, have we done a zero to 60 time? How's the acceleration? Curious to know as decent as the dual motor. It's honestly, you're not really gonna notice too much of a difference between this and a dual motor in most acceleration. Like, yeah, maybe the dual motor's a little bit faster. They say half a second faster, but it pulls so hard that you're really not gonna notice too dramatically. Now I'm gonna do something inappropriate on motor. Stop it. We we haven't done a uh, like a proper fully charged instrumented zero to sixty yet. We will, but we did some zero to sixty launches earlier, and it's it's quite quick. Nathan, you can attest. You drove the last Tesla you drove was a Model Three dual motor, and then you drove this, and you said the Model Three felt me. You know, like you know it's faster in your brain, but like realistically, not that big of a difference. I right? could tell like it's faster but it's not like this feels fast too yes um blah, blah, blah. <laughs> does it have a heated steering wheel it does elmer do you ever start to feel overheated with the large glass roof tesla it does have a good amount of thermal insulation but i will say i had the climate control set to 73 degrees auto for our test and i do that with every single vehicle we test here at daily motor for fuel economy I set it at 73 degrees auto and this was the hottest I've ever been in this car at 73. I had my jacket off, my GoPro overheated. So I don't know how much that has to do with the solar roof, but it was sunny that day. Or not solar roof, but window <laughs> roof. Wow. Sound system sounds good. It's not the best I've ever heard, but it's probably a strong eight and a half. We'll be doing a more dedicated review on that soon. Can you bring up your rear camera using voice control? That's a good question. I will try that here in a moment. Mm. Just a routine drive. Oh, you're welcome, AJ. All right, Liz, you want to do a little flip-flop? Yes. Cool. Can um, we do the oh, camera? Oh, is this Sheridan's photo? Yep. That hey. really cute. Look at that. Uncanny. I mean, hey, for a quick scribble on a car screen. Cute. That's really cute. Very nice. Good job, Nathan. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Sheridan, and everyone else for the donations. Um, yes. Uh, Alyssa just noticed we have 80 people watching right now. Oh, yeah. It's big time. So, yeah, we're, yeah happy to have all of you on board. and. Uh, for anyone who is just joining in, I know we have a lot of newer people. This is a chance for you to ask anything you might want to know about Model Y standard range ownership, driving experience, anything you want to see. We, we've been testing a lot of different things out throughout the whole live drive, but we're going to be on for a little bit while longer as the GoPro battery continues to dwindle. We even have a charger if we want to stay on, but sunlight won't last forever. So anything you want to see, let us know and we'll make it happen. Somebody asked about snow driving and we're going to do that right now. Mm -hmm. Look this to Nathan. I'll flip spots with Alyssa. I don't care who has the camera for that. Actually, I'll do a quick walk around. We are out here. This is probably only about an inch and a half of fresh snow. It's actually not even that fresh. It's been, been a few days. But we're gonna do a little driving around. This is paved. This is our Model Y. Headlights are on now. Base spec car too. The, the least expensive Model Y Tesla mix. Base paint, base interior, no hitch, no self-driving, nothing. Ugh, okay. Tap the shoes. Let's send this to Elon Musk real fast. <laughs> right on his desk. <laughs> what are we at GoPro battery-wise? 44, okay. Should be good. Who wants the camera? I'll take it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take it out of chill acceleration. Driving. I'll do, I'll do sports steering as well. So with all the standard driving stuff, you don't need an all-wheel drive car to drive in the snow. <laughs> yeah, you might not love sitting in the middle. I won't drive too crazy, but um, so this isn't exactly like a high-speed dirt road or anything like that but I mean what more do you really need the other thing is with the electric motors 
it can have such a precise traction control that a lot of people are scared with rear-wheel drive cars that the rear end's going to spit out on them because they've heard horror stories of driving 1970s Mustangs with bald <laughs> tires in, in the snow. So what I'm going to do, I've got full traction control on, I'm going to kind of come around this corner, a little bit of steering angle, and floor it, and you'll see nothing bad happens. I'm floored right now. I am flooring the car. And nothing. I mean, it, it's it's totally safe. You still have to do your proper job with giving yourself braking distance, giving yourself more room to steer, not being irresponsible, but this car will catch you. I mean, this is ice right here. And I am mashing the gas and trying to get it to screw up. <laughs> wow. Not only that, I noticed when I was um, taking those turns fast, I'd mash the throttle mm -hmm. coming out of the apex, and I was expecting to get a little bit of um, the back end sticking out, but it didn't. It just, every time I could feel it catching itself. Right. So right here, we can do driving and do slip start. So this allows you, if you were stuck in the snow or in mud or something like that, and you did need to spin the tires a little bit, it allows you to get some spin. Um, if I try to get slide angle it's it's going to catch itself i'll show you but right now the rear wheels are spinning a little bit and so if i spin and turn it slides but then you can feel the traction control or the stability control nice kicking wow. right back in so amazing. now it has been said that you can disable a wheel speed sensor in the back and then you can just have drift mania so maybe we'll do that someday but Probably not anytime soon. Okay, driving. So we're gonna live drive for about another 10, 15 minutes or so. So if there's anything else you all would like to see or know or anything like that, let you us know. You haven't done any performance driving with it. Yep. I haven't, no. We've only had it for about a week and I haven't taken it out with just nothing in it and done like good performance driving. And to be honest, I mean, we had a Nissan GTR here at Daily Motor this week and there's something about how smooth electric driving is that I kind of just want to drive easy. You know, like I, I I had this car and the GTR in the parking and the driveway at the same time, and I would rather just be in this. In fact, Liz, you and I went to the grocery store uh, earlier this week after driving the GTR and the Live Drive, yeah. and we're like, you know, just take the Tesla. Yeah. I'm like sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and we just... did like snow nuts, snowy donuts in yeah. the GTR and Live Drive. In fact, amazing. these are our. Uh, our, our tracks, or at least these were my tracks from, uh, I think a winding road night drive <laughs> um, okay. with the GTR. But uh, yeah, no, there's something about the electric car. Yeah, you can drive it fast, but it's also just so nice and pleasant to drive it easy. But um, what is it like when you do drive it fast and from your point of view? Well, let's go do a little bit and find out. Mm -hmm. Something about Teslas, it's I, I always find they're super easy to drive so fast because everything is so instant, it's so predictable. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's it doesn't it really does a good job of not letting you have a super bad accident. Ah. Yeah, you know, all electric vehicles are like that, just like Rimox, right, Richard Hammond? <laughs> <laughs> um talk real quick about the headlights, a lot of people are asking. They're really good. They are very, very bright both in low beams and high beams. The auto high beams are still not perfect. I've never been in a car that can perfectly do auto high beams, but they're okay. They're decent for, for car cars these days. Um, you've had them a few times too, Liz. You think they're good, right, the headlights? I think they're beautiful. They're, yeah. they're so ridiculously bright and they're they're not yellow like at all. They're, no, they're a nice blue, white. crisp white light. Yep. Yeah. We do still seem to have pretty full acceleration, even here at 64% battery. Um, I, I did shoot the very first review on this car at like 20% battery, and you can definitely feel some power degradation, but up at 64, it's fine. So this back seat, okay, the middle does rise up higher. Mm -hmm. um, the back actually part of the seat is really very firm. The seat is also very firm. I'm sitting in the middle on purpose, and I'm going to sit and move over to the side to compare. Um, I have the the back reclined all the way, so that's awesome. I really like that. Um, but I don't hate it. I really don't <laughs> hate it. At this point, I'm used to the firm ride. Um, 
it is going to be quite firm no matter where you are I think in, in the cabin. Do you agree with Nathan that it's rougher back there? Not necessarily. And not, well, I we can't. haven't gone down the same spots, have we? That's no, fair. we haven't. And at some point, sit on the left side, because I almost feel like mentally, your brain thinks when you're sitting on that firmer seat, you don't notice as much in the middle, but when you're on the sides, it, That's why I want it to is a little rougher. Yes. So I'm going to so. kind of floss around this corner a bit. Oh, man. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> the grip. I what also... is it about? <sighs> well, you've got a low center of gravity. You've got fresh all-season tires. Um, and... Everything is really dialed in. I mean, it. Oh, oh boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh, Do it again. <laughs> I will. I mean, for, for those of you who watch regularly, you know, we do these roads all the time. And part of the reason I do that is so every car I test, I can have an idea of, of how the car responds very quickly and how it compares to other cars. And I remember the very first day I took this Model Y out on this road to, to film our first review, and I was like, oh man. I got on the highway and I was like, this is crazy. Okay. I do not have anything to hold on to back here. There, there we there. go. That took, that's amazing. I've never, I don't think I've ever felt grip like that before. And I've driven a GT 63S. Yeah, you're right. No, it is, it is really good. I'll be, I'll be curious to right. get this on some skid pad. First, wait, before you, uh, Yas donated $20 on the cash out. That's 40 bucks in comparison. Thank you, Yas. We really appreciate it. You've made money doing this. <laughs> that was the whole point of getting this car. That is part of it. Thanks, Yas. He says, congrats on your Model Y with a smiley face. Um, we love having Yas in the chat because not only is he super fun and helpful and knowledgeable, but he's also got a Model 3, so he teaches us things. We really appreciate all his support. Um, so at some point, Nathan will have to draw him a picture. Oh or my look. god! Oh, Nathan, that's awesome. I'll agree with you because this car almost has a, a dumb mode because you can mat the gas in the middle of the corner yeah. and you're not going to get out of sorts. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be curious. We do plan on taking this to a track day. Oh. And I, I'll be curious to know how fast we can get around and how much the stability control it is. Don't roll it. <laughs> I don't think you, you can't roll this. This car got the best SUV rollover resistance rating of any car in uh, NHTSA's testing. You can get this car like that. Like, so if, <laughs> if this is the bottom of the car, it gets like that. And it, and it still comes yeah, right down. Yeah, because it's got such a low center of gravity. Yep. All right. It just comes right back down. I am moving to the side now because okay. when you go over those giant curves, I have nothing to hold on to back here. Yes. And I, hold on. I don't have my seatbelt on, Charles. Well, you saw the corner coming. <laughs> I didn't know you were taking it. And you complain about my, my drive. Seatbelt. You complain about my driving. I couldn't grab my seatbelt because the car was going so fast. So we'll, we'll do another zero to 60 for people, even though we are at 62% battery. Did you time that one last time? Nah. No. I'm going to, let's time this with that. A real world 62% battery, three people in the car. Okay. Let me try and get this up as fast as I can. Got no brake torquing necessary for an electric car. All right, three, two, one, go. Five point six eight. Okay, that makes sense. For, yeah. I mean, there's three of us in the car. I, th that one felt slower than the last yeah. one I did. Um, and 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 all fairness, I actually did the. Everyone's probably gonna yell at me for this. I stopped it too quick. You did stop it a little early. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's probably anyway, yeah. under six seconds. Yeah. Under six seconds is very good. But if you think about it, how many daily drivers do zero to 60 under six seconds? They don't. I firmly believe that once most people, once every day, like people are just driving around electric vehicles, there will be less traffic congestion because yeah. people can get up to speed faster. Not only, you know, most cars can do it, but people don't like hearing their engines yeah. working really hard and stuff. The casual drivers, but electric cars, you don't yeah, have Yeah, that's one thing I've noticed when I first drove that Model 3. I didn't care. It didn't. never felt like I was being rough on it. I could just, yes. like, earlier when I was just, like, going like that with the gas pedal, it, like, I would never, ever do that with my actual car because right. it just, it feels wrong. But with this, it's like... So if, if this on-ramp is open, I'm going to hit it full tilt here. And we'll just... Oh, oh yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Charles, please, please. Oh my gosh, my 60. Oh 
That was so much G-force. Yeah, that was I've a never lot. experienced that in my life. It felt like a <laughs> roller coaster. My hips hurt because I threw my leg over to the other side to like hold on to the bottom of the seat. Oh my gosh, I did not ever think that that was possible in a vehicle. That was so much fun too. So oh. if if, <laughs> if any of you are concerned, if the standard range Model Y is too slow, it is not. It is not slow at all. So here's some autopilot coverage for you. Cruising along. Taking this, I mean, we do this corner all the time here at Daily Motor and it's doing it quite well. Not only that, but you gain confidence by seeing what the car sees. So you know that it sees the road straightening out right here. And if, if it can, it'll go away and it'll alert you. Yep. Oh, that's some good family fun. Liz, do we have comment updates? We have a ton of them. I'll let you, I'll turn it into chill mode here and let you re okay. recover a bit. Thoughts on Model S Plaid S Plus? Plaid S Plus is awesome. If anyone gets one, looking at you, Moran. Now, let me just say something. You just saw what this car <laughs> did, and this is standard range, non performance. You could imagine what that, mod you saw what I did to Alyssa's head when she was, you saw what happened to My her. My neck muscles hurt. Yeah. Imagine that's gonna be mind-bogglingly insane. I know. Just imagine, I, 0 to 60, 1.9 seconds with rollout subtracted. Um, mm -hmm. You know, at, about that, when they say rollout subtracted, do they mean with rollout, like with them counting rollout or not counting Probably rollout? Probably not counting rollout. But it really, that only <laughs> changes like a, a 0.1 second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that. But yeah. Um, still though, I just, it's gonna be nuts. I've driven a performance Model Three, and that was crazy. Having and driven I had a, a P eighty five. What about a P one hundred? I think I've driven a one hundred D. Yes, I've driven a one hundred D Model S, but not a P one hundred D. I cannot wait. I know. This car is just absolutely. I forgot how good Teslas are. I mean, it's so hard to express and explain the magnificence. The magnific <laughs> magnificence. I can't speak. The amazingness of this car. And for any of you who, who haven't watched the channel before, Nathan loves to be petty and critical about cars. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I don't mean that in a mean way. He's very, like, he'll, he'll test everything and he'll be fair, but he'll, like, if there's anything to complain about, he'll find it. So that's like a, that means when you do get a, a response like that from him, that's pretty good. I haven't found a single thing I don't like about this car besides the ride. Right. And that's what I've been saying since I bought it. I was like, well, the ride's not great. There's one other thing I, I actually I update on the ride back here. Yeah, that it's fine. I I honestly <laughs> don't notice. I've been driving it for about a week, a couple days every mm -hmm. now and then. Um, this the side seats are so much more comfortable than the middle seats. Whoop de doo. That's pretty standard in a lot of different cars. Um, but honestly, it's very comfortable. There's a ton of space back here. Um, I I do still have the back seat reclined all the way. I like it. I could sit back here for hours on end and be happy. Oh That's, my goodness. What? Hunter Ellis, thank you so much for the oh donation. Oh boy. $50. Wow. We've made over $100 this live drive. $50 for, on the don uh, cash out. Thank you so much for that. Definitely. We, we, Why we, should we stop? <laughs> we could do this forever and just keep making money. That's amazing. Thank you guys. We really do appreciate that. Wonderful. We'll come to a stop here and Nathan will draw some pictures unless Alyssa wants to come up and do it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Liz, I know, I know you got look comments all the to get to. Look at all the birds on the... Oh, yeah. I can see them up. Oh, oh yeah, look above. <laughs> That's I love this a lot room. of birds. I really love it. Any birds Isn't it cool from down? the back, back it's seat? It's so awesome. I just want to, like, drive through, like, a rainstorm or a thunderstorm or a Ooh, snowstorm. Yeah, rain. Well, it may not thunderstorm because it's hail. Yeah, imagine if this broke from hail. I wonder if they... That'd be sad. They must test it Thank for that. Thank God we garage it. <laughs> Comments, Liz? Ah, uh, yes. Um, yeah, it says you guys are making me want to trade in my Model 3 for a Model Y. Hey, Model 3 drives better. I, yeah. that. I mean, this is really good, but the Model 3 drives better. And that's the thing. It's just, it's so hard to comprehend how good these cars are. When you drive them, and you just want to keep driving. And the... 
what's also crazy is Elon Musk has always said Tesla is not a car company, it's a tech company. And ah. he they build a pretty darn good car yeah. for it for not a car company. Yeah, and that's the thing, it's it almost puts every other car company to shame. Cause like every single other car I get in, it's like, oh well, it's really good, but this and this and this, and it's not as good as this. You get in this, it's just like there's nothing better. Brian at regular car reviews said when he first drove the Model Y, he started as he judged against this car. Wow. When he drove yeah. the Model S. And, and that, I, I that's how I awesome. felt about oh, the Model Oh no, live stream ended. The Wi-Fi connection was lost. It just ended? Yeah, Liz, you want to comment on there real quick? Um, oh no, is it still going? The yeah, camera it looks live. like it's still going. It says is, live. Is it still going on your phone? Okay, no, no, we're good. GoPro apps just being yeah. weird. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, we should get to the next comments. Um... <laughs> Limitless Aerial Systems, what a great name, um, says, also, is there a way you could do a video of fully charged acceleration versus a low battery or cold acceleration? That's a good idea. Which Absolutely. Is well, a that, huge difference. Yeah, we'll definitely do, we'll do testing on full battery, 90%, because that's when, like, that's where most people will have it for, like, daily driving, um, and then at, like, 50 and, like, 20, or 10, maybe. Yeah. Where are you gonna draw? Well, this one is for Yas, and Yas is our dude. Yas, uh, what color is your Model 3? Let us know and we will draw it. <laughs> um, and then Hunter. He hmm. says, um, Yas, mm -hmm. says the road noise is terrible in his 2019 Model 3, but when I test drove the Model Y, it was much, much improved. Well, that's good to know because the road noise is decently loud in this car too. It's certainly, it, yeah, it's it's, it's not a luxury car. And as I was saying earlier, I think part of that might be because of this roof reflecting a lot of sound. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's do. I'll draw a deer blind. Is there not brown? Oh, you just do this. See, this is just Tesla smartness. It's just got every color of the rain. He says it's white. Is, okay, we'll do his first then. That's gonna be hard to draw against a white background. Just outline it in <laughs> black. Yeah, that's true. Um, so that'd be cool three. if they could have like coloring book things, so you could like say like do a Tesla outline, ah. and then color in a Tesla. What is this? This is Yas's Model Three. I'm drawing a Model Three from memory. Well, while he's doing that, I'll just in case anyone's curious, I'll talk about materials. They're Listen, awesome. Like comments too after oh. that. No, we're good. Um, we're everything is, there's no cheap, crappy mid 2000s plastic in here. <laughs> everything is, this is wood. I don't know if, actually, this, I think this like is a, real wood. It, yeah, and if it's not, it, they did a good job at imitating yeah. it. Um, this is a nice plastic. This is soft rubber. This is the vegan leather. This is piano black. This is. <laughs> I will say on that, do you think these, do you think this surface will be scratched up within years? Probably. <laughs> um, oh, a little quick tip. One thing I learned in my Taurus SHO, it has the, similar to this, just a giant piano black center thing. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to do this because I don't want someone to quote me on it and say that I'm at fault for screwing up their interior, but I took rubbing compound and wax at, on my scratched up Taurus Piano Black and it completely restored it. Really? Now, don't do that because it might not work the same with your car, but I did it and it worked. <laughs> All right. I wonder if Yas has this is like suede, which I'm surprised about. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a base model car and yet it, everything is so nice in it. Well, do, it don't forget. It, it, don't, uh, yeah, Alcantara. Also, don't forget that it's still a forty-two thousand yeah. dollar car. So I mean, yeah. <laughs> how many speakers are in this car? I think it's fourteen off the top of my head. Okay. Huh? That's interesting. It's a little piece of plastic in. Uh, oh. <gasps> hey, man. What? Oh no, that's that should come out. That's oh. like delivery. Oh. <gasps> ah! hmm. <laughs> hey, car's only a, a, a week old. For us, at least. Yep, it's probably just something from the manufacturer. Yeah. Keep that as a souvenir. Elon Musk probably touched this. <laughs> you think he he graces every Model Y with his presence? <laughs> yeah. Someone has it, asked, it won't move unless he touches it. <laughs> Sorry, let's go ahead. Someone has asked if this is better than the new Mazdas. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's maybe not as fun as a Miata to slide around, but like in most other a lot ways, more yes. Space. Yeah. I don't know. I'd probably, I'd rather drive this for in a performance oh, situation than, cool. than a Miata. Miatas are pretty fun. They're fun, but this like, 
I've driven a Miata, and this is more fun. <laughs> How big can this go? We should so do I... a road trip someday. Oh, we will. It's to the south. Yes, only one in March, actually. Um. All right, Yas, that is your model three. You didn't do the windows. Well, I'm lazy. <laughs> you know, he says Yas he... isn't getting the uh, the Nate artist right here. Yeah, Nathan's a better artist than I am. Also, Nathan has more patience than I do. That's fair. Yeah. Plus, he says he doesn't miss doing wild ranges. Ah, yes, that is a good point. There's Yas's model three. Now, Hunter is going to get this. He's going to get... So AJ Spang, we currently have 150 volts that we're charging in. 120. At. Oh, we only have, oh, 120. And we're getting a 240 installed later on this week, hopefully. Yep. Um, Here comes the money. And that will shorten our um, time charging from 20 pl 24 plus hours to like six. Yes. <laughs> Is he the first one to ever donate fifty dollars on this channel? He is. He, is he the is. he has the donation record on yes. Daily yeah. Motor. You yeah. will get you will go down in history as the first fifty dollar donor. Thank you, Hunter. Nice money. Cool. Well, we're gonna wrap things up here in just a few minutes. So, any last things you all want to know on our Model Y, hit us up. And thank you all so much for coming along on the ride. It's starting to get a little dark. I still have a video edit tonight. Um. But yeah, uh, any lasting thoughts? We didn't get a chance to get many driving impressions from Liz, but she sort of peppered them in. That's fine. You like driving it, right? I do like driving it. You had a really peaceful drive the other day. You I mentioned. did. It was lovely. The car is so quiet because it's electric. There's no engine to make noise. Um, there's no... Help me out, guys. No, well, there's little road noise. Well, moderate road noise, but yeah, no engine noise. Um, no exhaust just... or anything like that. So. Right. It's so quiet in the cabin. I had classical piano music playing from my Spotify and I was just cruising along. It was wonderful. I was barely even driving too because I had the autopilot stuff on. I loved it. It was really nice. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. Sheridan, the touch screen's very sensitive. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's beautiful. Great work, Charlie. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> um, NC Styles, why do I keep seeing videos that Teslas have bad build quality? The build quality has improved a bunch. And the mobile service tech that I had recently even said this one looks really well put together. Um, and I think he was saying even the initial model wise. Close? Nathan's oh, messing with so uh, oh, that's I didn't funny. want to interrupt you, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Um, I saw this on YouTube and I wanted to do it because it's funny. If you take this and go like that. It that. says close lid gently. That is pretty funny that so it tells you that. Yeah, you have to close it kind of just like that and it cuz yeah. I wonder where the sensor is that they could possibly have bothered to put that in to know that you're slamming. Do you think it's like a sound sensor or what? Well, they know? probably figure, all right, people are going to be idiots and just go like that and be like, "My Tesla's broken." Right, but like where do yeah. they have a sensor in there or or can't, you know, it's just Yeah, they must have just It's amazing that they thought of that. Right. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, well, let's do one last, uh, oh, range in the cold weather, 180 miles at worst case scenario. Uh, all right. Let's hop on out and do one final walk around. Oh. Cool, well, thank you all for coming along. It's nice, crisp winter day, checking out our Model Y. We'll do another one of these periodically. Any sort of questions that you might have about Model Y stuff, leave them in the comments of any video. We'll put this live drive up live uh, probably sometime tomorrow, next day. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. We're Charlie, Alyssa, and Nathan from Daily Motor and as always, drive on. <laughs> oh, wait, before you end it, just do a nice little walk around the car. Thank you.